Yeah, it's clear. Okay, morning, Jürgen. Morning. Uh, back to the, the scene of the worst performance ever. Um, you Thank have, you. You must have learnt a lot from that afternoon. What, what will you do differently? Everything. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan, obviously. Um, yeah. I think how I said after the Wolves game, we knew, we knew obviously before the Wolves game that we um, <laughs> that the draw is bright, and, we, and um, I think we showed that we really want to go through anyway. So that's football, eh? there's always a new chance. You always can do better, and that's what we obviously uh, will do. And um, that's it, pretty much. But, but brightness in a really good moment. There's no doubt about that. Any players closer to a return? Close, yeah, clo closer, yes, <laughs> of course, closer. No, no, no. It will take another couple of weeks, I think, until they can start. Uh, Louis takes longer, but um, Diogo, Bobby, and Virgil, a couple of weeks, yeah, and um, will be part of, yeah, can join training, and then we have to see um, how quick it goes from there. Um, Stefan Bashetic, uh, new contract signed yesterday, uh, a real talent. You must feel he's he's got a very promising future. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We knew that was pretty clear from the first moment, but you never know how quick it goes. And um, so I think we were pretty careful with him um, because of his age and all these kind of things. But um, he showed now that he's ready, and for us, very helpful in the situation. So a lot of his natural skills. Is something we didn't show often enough in the in the, the recent games. Um, so the aggression, but the, a good aggression, not that he kicks players, or, but he makes really the last step into challenges. Is good football on top of that. So that's obviously very important in the center of the park. And um, no, I'm really happy, really pleased that he signed this new contract. He deserves it as well, and um, I think he's really happy about it. So it's good. Okay, just finally for me. Here on Merseyside, could, could I get your reaction to Frank Lampard's dismissal of Ed Everton across the park? Yeah, that's the that's the business usually. Yeah? So um, that's how it goes. And um, of course, I feel for Frank. Um, he tried everything. They did last year. It was not easy as well when he arrived. So I think he did well. Um, and then this year, after losing Richarlison and then Calvert Lewin not coming back, we all know how how injuries can really impact the season. And um, in, in these decisive positions, especially, and um, so, yeah, um, that's what we in this job have to accept if these kind of things happen. But um, yeah, um, Frank will come back definitely. It's clear. He's still a young coach, young manager, and um, everything is ahead of him. Looks like Sean Dyche is coming back. Mm, no. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We do. You do. <laughs> it's cl it's clear. I, I saw Bielsa landing. So, yeah. but he only was had a private he appointment on. Okay. Just, just thinking, was there much talk and also came back that performance that defeat at Brighton, um, assessing you know what went wrong and what you take, what the players can take from that, and as a team going into this um, match, albeit it's a different competition and more controlled as you say. <laughs> yeah, being the cup holder. I don't think it's a massive advantage in the competition, so we got to start every year completely new. Um, but what we know is how 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 great the event is if you if you arrive at the final. So that's of course in our mind. So that that's where that's helpful if you want. Um, yeah, it's still the worst game I ever saw of a team left of mine. So that that didn't change since then. Um, thank God. Imagine we would have played the next the, the worst the week after. Um, and pretty much everything went wrong there. We, we played completely in their cards and we had to change the approach completely. Um, not only against Brighton, but in, in general. Um, and we did um, really well in moments, um, in spells during the games. I think uh, the first half against Chelsea was really disciplined, really disciplined. We didn't, Chelsea is a really good football team and we give them a, didn't give them a lot to play through, which is important. Um, that's something we have to do similar against Brighton, of course. Uh, second half started, then um, we built on the first half, started really well. Um, and then for we got a bit overly excited, if you want. We, we were not that compact anymore. We had now, we, 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 we 
the pressing was not that coordinated anymore, and that was then then, then Chelsea came to two chances. But um, so that's that's now again something we have to, we, we want to work with, and that's where we want to go from. And um, so and that would being more compact than we were at Brighton would be really helpful, to be honest. Compact in our case never means we be very deep. We cannot do that. But in the decisive areas, we have to be compact and uh, we have to defend them well. We, we respect them a lot, obviously, for good reasons. We did that before the first game as well. Um, but we, will have to, we, we have to make it more difficult for them. And we will do make it more difficult. And then we will see what we can make of that. Because I, I remember um, the, the match against Man City in the replay, you were saying you'd loaded with someone who was available to you. And obviously, there were, there were a few changes. But those changes impressed and saw the, the performance against Chelsea as well, building on that. So would it be a similar sort of um, selection to to what you've had in the last two games? Didn't make these decisions yet, but um, we have now a, a long training week, and after the game again, um, and that's something what we always use, and then you can then everybody can show up, and if the boys who start now the games, which are good with the good spells, are um, uh, look like they they have to go again, then we will start again. If not, we have we have thank God. Um, up front, not too many, a little bit. Darwin is, is in, um, but in midfield we have a few options. I hope that stays like this, and that's always good. This kind of community, how I said, who's ready to defend is more than welcome um, in the team. And um, the boys look like they understood, and now we have to show it on the pitch. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Um, obviously, you, you, you want to get um, Virgil van Dijk back when he's ready, but in, in the aftermath of the Brighton game, you've had two clean sheets, so. Is that <laughs> I think we could have had clean sheets with Welsh as well, to be honest. But um, no, it's nothing to do with that. I, I don't think we ever had to discuss really the, the, the quality of our centre halves. And uh, talking about that, that they were responsible, they didn't have clean sheets. Um, I wouldn't say they played a perfect season so far, but um, it's defending, and defending is much it's it's much more complex than talking about centre half. So um, yeah, clean sheets are are massive, 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 massive for us. Um, I know everybody waits for a, 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 a a performance, three, four nil, early decided, bam, free flowing football, and these kind of things. Yes, we, that's what you want to see, but that's what, what you have to work for. And um, and the clean sheet is the best, the best start into that direction because that means that means you can win a game at one nil, which is absolutely a result, a result completely fine, um, and from where we can go. So um, that's it. Yes, clean sheets are are massive to us. And you've had so much success in the cup competitions in recent years, um, and you're still in two cup competitions this season, so how, when you have a good run in a competition, does that give you momentum in the, or can it give you momentum in the league form as well? Yeah, can, but it's not, as you cannot say it, you now say it like that, you have, um, hey, we are not famous for going far in FA Cup and Carabao Cup, uh, we were last year, we went um, all the way, but um, before that, it's not that we, uh, we yes, we qualified quite frequently for the Champions League final, but the other cup competitions we had to to get out of it earlier. So um, there's not too much. Cup competitions are then always difficult when you have um, these midweek games. So because you have, need to have an eye on it and stuff like this, and you. Um, but now we have full week to prepare the game. Um, I in our tight schedule, I'm not sure that the FA Cup should have a weekend match day, but now we have it, and that's good to prepare at least. And um, but will make other things more difficult. So that we have th still two games in hand, where some somebody has to fit in somewhere. Um, no news about that yet. No clue when that will happen. So the further we would go in in the cup competition, I think the more complicated it would be. Let's see. It's not a problem for now. Um, and so yeah, each good game, each good result. Um, is there and it's not about the competition and it's just there to, to give you confidence to give you momentum and then it's about giving it um in the moment obviously the job is slightly different because we, we have to we have to um improve in a lot of things but when you have runs where you win five six seven games in a row whatever it has there's a lot of work to do as well it's not that it just happens so it's just slightly different because it one is with lesser confidence the other one is more with more confidence which is obviously a massive difference and um so yes each good result gives confidence, and that's what we—that's why we try um, to play really good at Brighton and and go through to the next round. Oh. 
can back that to pieces for us. I know it's a different competition on top of the different themes for the UK, but do you refer to that performance at all in any way to the players and say, look, because it's so, it's so recent in the memory, we're going back to this place, look how bad you were this year, what we did wrong, you need to. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, not, not on a daily basis, but yes, we had, um, of course, we had um, intense talks after the Brighton game. We had to change immediately, and we did. A couple of days later, we played against the Wolves, and it lo obviously looked completely different. I said after the game, it looked like two different sports. So, um, but now we will not do the meeting where I show all the bad situations from Brighton. It would be a proper horror show. No, no, no. We saw that already. Uh, we played it and saw it after, so that's fine. But of course, it was the um, it was then, but if there's anything good about it, so it felt that bad for the players as well that everything, everybody was clear about. So it's not, not about here and there a little bit. It's about a general, general change and improvement um, of different things, and um, that's why, how I said, you can lose a game. I mean, did that, um, and if you don't learn from it, well, then it's just a defeat. If you learn from it, then it's important as well, and um, we, we tend to do things like that. You know, you say you feel free to talk about the last two games. What, what's the dynamic that those three offer you? You know, it's a. Uh, so, obviously, for, for, we had injuries after Brighton or, or Little Nicholson there, and um, so it was clear that we, we had we had to change anyway. So, um, and then I like the 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 rhythm. I like the 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 mix of. Um, offensive things and defensive um, readiness. I, I like that. It was not the three alone because the three alone can do nothing, but, but the front lines were, 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 did that really good as well. And that's really important to us. It cannot. There are specific things an opponent is, is doing. It's not, not that, they, that each opponent offers absolutely everything and you have no clue what they are doing. Sometimes that can happen, but less with quality teams like this. It's just with teams they try to survive, then you don't know really what you prepare for. But with Brighton, a lot of things are clear what they are doing, and you have to respect that. You have to defend that. If you don't do that, uh, yeah, yeah, then you are screwed. There's no doubt about it, and um, that's why we have to. Um, it, it's the, the midfield three. Then it, it just worked well for, for for these games. We will see who will start um, Sunday. Uh, it's not about. Against anybody or whatever, it's just uh, the, the boys in the moment training. That's all about the midfielders. They all show up. They obviously all want to play, so that's good. That's good. And my job is then to make the decision. Let's see who, how it works best, and then we have five opportunities to change. For me, it's exactly the same importance how we start and how we finish a game. It's exactly the same. So uh, there's might be in a player's mind slightly different or in a journalism journalist mind, but and for me it's the same importance. So um, I'm. If, we have six, seven midfielders in top shape. Perfect situation. Anyway, in our system, we play now or used to play now for a while. Um, only three can start, uh, but then you have um, you cannot make mistakes. Let me say that with lineups, that's good, um, and that's actually what I'm. That's a situation I want to be in again. That's so. No, yeah, okay, yeah, it is. But against Brighton, especially, it's, it's uh, massively important how you defend the first line. So there are these, uh, they're, they're that good. Yeah, but the Caicedo and McAllister and, and the two centre halves calm like hell. Um, the goalie really calm. So um, they just pass the ball through. If, if the front three is not defending well, and that was our problem, for example, at at Brighton. That's how it started. The midfield wanted, but we were never close enough. And uh, if so, if you defend Brighton with seven. No, I don't want to make it too big. But if in, theoretically you defend Brighton with seven players, no chance. So that's that's the situation. It's not about the midfielder and that, that they are good there, and that's why we have to be good there. Yes, that's that's one part of it. It's really about how we defend in general. James, last one with Anthony Brown for you. Yeah, as well as after mellow appearance, we have. I would say pretty good. So he's running a lot um, for him as well. I think. Uh, um, Two three weeks maybe until he can uh, join team training, but it looks looks good for a while already. So it, it was now a long injury, so he needs a, a real a proper build up. It was not a part of team training or whatever. Um, all we had this week, so um, 
Fabio, um, um, Caballo is obviously out. He has a little thing, but it will not be ready. F will he be ready? Uh, did anybody tell me that he can train today? I don't think so, but maybe he can train today, but will be not 100% ready for the, for the weekend. Um, Billy was not in training for one day, but he's fine. He's fine. There was no injury reason. Um, who else? Who was not in training? Uh, Ned. Ned has it. Um, proper, proper cold. So, yeah. Just, just on, on that, do you think there's a chance he could go before the deadline next week? Because Reese Williams came back from his loan at Blackpool. <laughs> it depends on the offers. Uh, so, yeah. But you have to be prepared for pretty much everything. So, um, and we don't know. The 31st is the deadline day um, and we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, there's been a Sunday game where I've got two late 